Hi there, so in this video I will explain you how you can create a simple database with a PHP and MySQL and uh, in fact our use case is the following one is I wish every time that a given file is called that uh, a data is uh, recorded which in my case will be uh, the date of uh, the time and date of the alert when it happens. So when a motion has been detected, then I want the database to be filled in. So uh, first of all, let's just define a database. A database, as its name stands for, is a place which is holding data. Okay, so you have, uh, you need to have uh, what we call um, a database server, <coughs> which will in fact handle uh, the different data that you will collect. So uh, the most famous, um, let's say, um, database server is MySQL server and what I'm showing you here is PHP MyAdmin which is a, a graphical user interface in order to see uh, how a database look like. So as you can see here I have a database which is called Martian and within this database called Martian I have a table which is named alert and uh, within the table alert I have two columns uh, one which is ID the other one which is alert time the ID is uh, the let's say the ID of uh, the alert, the number of the, the alert, and alert time correspond to the time at which the alert has been sent. So in order to create in fact this uh, database, what I did is that I went uh, within a PHP MyAdmin and I create um, I create a, a database. So I just uh, went over here in database. Whoops. In database, uh, where is that? Over here, database, and I click on new database. I created one, and once I created my database that I named Motion, then I added a table. So I just clicked over here on new, and then I defined, in fact, uh, the different uh, set of data that this given table is gonna uh, hold. So here I just enter for two columns. So one line represents one column, the second one represents another column. Here I name one uh, ID. I just select uh, over here auto increment which means that for every new uh, row which will be uh, inserted uh, for every data which will be inserted it will be a new row which will be automatically counted and here I just select uh, the alert time and then I select here the type of data um, as a date so I just uh, went here down below and I selected it in time and I took date time with a uh, timestamp in order to create this given um, this given database that you can see here and then after I create a script in order to inject the data that you can see here and in order to create uh, the script so what I did is that I copy and paste a script similar to this one okay I just copy this one and I created a PHP file and within this PHP file I paste uh, the following code and in fact the following code is in fact indicating the credential in order to connect uh, to my database. If I just get out of this database, you see here, you see Ronan, here there is a password, it's under local host, so this is what it means over here. It says, okay, um, um, use the following credential, then use the following database, which is the database named Motion, which is the one which is over here. And then after I have, so this is the PHP lines in order to say, okay, make the connection. And if the connection is not uh, okay, then if the credential, for example, are not fine, then uh, drop out um, error message. And here, what I'm saying is, okay, create two variables. So one is uh, the, the date. So that's what you can see over here in speaking out, actually the date at which the request is made and insert into the table, uh, which is named um, uh, alert, uh, insert alert time, and uh, push as well the variable, which is the date, and that's everything which is, uh, which is said over here. So what is happening here is that it's sent, sending within the table alert the following, uh, the following value. And um, from the other side, what I have is that I created a page. Okay, I'm gonna show you this page right now. So yes, you do the uh, HTML, and then I put it on Notion. Okay, and here what I have, as you can see, is a page which is called index.php. So if I do 
at index.php, it's exactly the script that I uh, that I show you. Okay, so I just copy and paste this part on a page which is uh, the following one. Okay, so here if you look at the source code, you won't see uh, anything as it's fully uh, in PHP, as you can see here. But if I refresh this given page, it's going to automatically create one entry with the given time written here. So I can refresh this this page, as you can see, uh, there's no additional row. But if I refresh this given page, yes. And if I refresh this one now, uh -huh, as you can see, there are the number seven which just came, which correspond. So um, 9 p.m. 02 and 02 seconds, which correspond to this day. So it means that actually my script has been properly fired. So in fact, uh, what we're going to see next is how you can retrieve now the data of this database, making them accessible thanks to a web page. And then we're going to see after that how you can make it even accessible on a mobile app. And like this, you will in fact um, be able to access uh, remotely with an, an additional terminal to those uh, data. Hope that this video was, uh, was clear. So just to sum it up, in order to uh, create a database which is recording data, what you need to do is that you need to have a technology which is uh, a database server, so in our case, a MySQL server. Within this MySQL server, once you get an access, and probably through PHP MyAdmin, it's providing you a graphical uh, user interface, you just create your database, you create a table. Within this table, you set the different column, which will be the one holding your data, and then you need to have a script and within this script you give the credential in order to write within the uh, database then you write uh, your sql sequence which is the following one in order to write within this uh, given database and that's everything that i wanted to show you for this video thanks for watching